Well, okay, Nicky, old boy. You made a plan. You followed your plan. And so far, it's working out quite well. I'm sure my old teacher, Toot, would be proud of me. I gotta wonder. My friend, the announcer, has any idea what's going on in my new world here. Anyway, I've progressed nicely with my plan and my leveling up. I got a really nice free gift back around level 15 or a little bit earlier. I was given a blueprint for a forge. Well, that gave me great hope because the forge means I could turn my raw metal into finished metal. Or so I presumed, anyway. And that meant metal tools. I also discovered in my mortar and pestle that I could make gunpowder. Yee-ha! Gunpowder means firearms are in my future. So, of course, all of that stuff requires at least one other thing, which couldn't, oh, uh, which is a smithy, which I couldn't get until level 20, even though I had the forge way long ago. And I smelted up a whole bunch of metal ingots because why not? It was there. I could easily get metal from the river rocks and easily get wood to fuel the forge. So I started crafting up heaps and heaps. Of course, this all was done with stone tools. Can't tell you how many uh, picks I went through and had to repair. But my main goal in the way I got here was to go on a building frenzy. And this is my building frenzy. I built a huge wood foundation base. It's a nine by nine, 81 wooden foundation. I spent days of back breaking the labor, collecting the resources to build that thing. And smack in the middle of it, I put a three by three house. Nice little house. So that gives me a buffer zone of three foundations between the outside perimeter and the house. And of course I've only got the corners in so far. I've been holding off because I kept getting closer and closer to level 20, and, which meant that I could build a smithy, which meant that I could build metal tools, which would hopefully be far more effective at gathering resources and expend far or extend the time between repairs. Paramar has proven to be a great assistant. As I can ride him over there on that hilltop, which is covered with a fair number of trees, harvest up a whole bunch of them, come back, build my foundations. I've also stripped all the trees from over there numerous times but it's a little more complex because I gotta climb up and down hills and go around rocks and things like that so much easier over there the only real problem I ever ran into was crossing the water one time I got involved in uh, some stingrays and I got killed so my bad I shouldn't have tried to fight him with a stone spear I'm hoping that I'll be able to get more sophisticated weapons here real soon. Right now, I do believe there's my storage box. Got all the materials necessary. 
this over in the forge. I got a whole bunch of metal. Look at here, I got another free gift. Lesser or greater antidote because, oops, got to go over here to the engrams. See, you got 53 of them stacked up there. Go up here to level 20. I don't have to do the forge because I already got it. The black uh, the blueprint. Smithy, 18 points. You betcha. Metal pick. You betcha. Metal hatchet. Yes, sir. Now level 21. I can get trank arrows. I presume that means I can get out there and start knocking some animals out that are too big to punch silly. Just wondering how far I gotta go. I gotta get to level 25 to get a pike. And a crossbow. Oh, cool. Well, I expect I'm going to hit level 21 here real quick. Let's see. Here's my forge. And I think, is it here? Nope. It's around the corner here. In this storage box. I've got 45 metal ready to go. Okay, crafting. There she is. A smithy. And I have everything I need already. No, nope, I don't. I need some hide. I need the metal ingots, but only five. That's not much. I think I'll take a few more. Maybe a few more. So I can do those metal tools. And hide. I've got bunches of hide, I do believe. Not in there, though. In here. Oh, there we go. Bunches of hide. Hide doesn't weigh much, so I don't mind carrying a lot of it. So that's everything I need. Crafting smithy. Oops. Needs a few more stones, huh? I think they're in here. Okay. What else have I not got yet? Dirty wood. Well, I can take care of that. I think I'd have been better prepared this morning. Anticipating building this for so long now. Anyway, here it comes. And there it is. Very own smithy. Put you down there. I think I'm going to put you right here. You notice I'm putting everything on my storage. Against the inside of the house rather than the outer wall, up against an outer wall because I don't want it to get damaged if something comes a knocking on my door. I must admit that other than my running with the Baryonyx quite a while ago, nothing really comes out here on my peninsula anymore. Some dodos will wander by once in a while, but that's about it. I've got to go pretty far in towards the land to even find a dillo. And then all my hunting over there and chopping and whacking and gathering fiber and thatch and wood really never saw anything but herbivores. So I guess all the noise of my activity in building this huge foundation has kept a lot of The primitive weapon? Oop. Nope. I gotta do it in the smithy. Weapons. Melee. Oh, there you are. You're beautiful. 
I'm going to put all those ingots in the smithy because they're too heavy to be carrying around. Throw me some wood in there. And throw those hides in there. There we go. Yahoo! A metal hatchet. It does 40 damage, and a stone hammer does 20. So that's a big improvement. How about the pick? Does 40 and damage 32. Compared to. Forty, forty, and sixteen. Forty, four. That's twice as much. Excellent. Of course, I can see right away one slight disadvantage here is that in order to repair my metal tools, I gotta have a smithy access to one. And that means I can't do it on the fly out there in the field. Put all that over there. Probably going to need some thatch over there. Some fiber for other things. I'm going to think. Okay. that there anymore one thing of course I also discovered oops yeah don't I wish not that far down really in the learning where is it I don't think it was that far Back this way? Nope. Not there. But this got me to thinking about. There's a whole bunch of hide clothing, too. That, that sounds like a good idea compared to using uh, fabric that I weave myself. I'm sure it all has a uh, hide shirt. Riches, gloves, boots, and a hat. All that stuff's going to have more insulation value and more resistance to injury. And I got 23 points left. The thing I was excited about was this guy. The wooden hat. That's 11 points. I think I'll wait off on that for a little while because the wooden raft, I can get out there and start exploring down the coast a bit. I think I'll go south, being a liker of the tropics. So let's see here. Got hide pants. Let's learn that. Hide shirt. Yep. Gloves. Or boots. more important, maybe my hands, because I got those, uh, if you happen to look, I got these here fancy green shoes, they have a pretty good value as far as production goes, look at that, fancy green shoes, they're kind of ridiculous, but don't care about that as long as they do their job. So let's go with the high gloves. High gloves. Okay. And I still got one point left. It's raining. I'm not hungry. I got a bunch of berries. I could eat those. Let's see. Five o'clock. Have I got enough eyes? 
here. I'll put these back over there. Now I need them with me. I don't need the snippy to build clothing. At least not yet. I'm going to hide stuff in there. I don't think there's any such a thing in here. This is unusual stuff in here. There's some wood in there. So I can go out there and collect up a bunch of more metal. Got a bunch of stone in there already. And around here inside. Oh, oh, right next to here. Which is my miscellaneous stuff. This stuff I find of great interest. Seeding bomb. Ten times tanning boot. And I'm very interested in having an opportunity to use that later. And over here, as I said, okay, that's narcotics. I don't have anything in there right now. But you see, I got 174. I suspect that's going to have to go over here in the old smithy and make an ammo. Let's see weapons. You know, nothing in there yet. Nothing in there yet, but stone kick arrow. I'm not sure. That gunpowder is going to be used for something to fire some kind of projectile weapons, I would suspect. Around the hit corner here. Got the hook stove. And that's bare. Let's throw some wood in there. And inside, I haven't put any doors on anything yet. It's rather cumbersome to open and close them all the time. Or I keep stuff like this, sort of weapons. So I'll keep those old stone weapons for right now. I suspect later on I'll just get rid of all that stuff. Maybe put the berries down there where I can get a hold of them and munch on them. Now let's see what we can do with our metal hatchet. Come here, friendly little creatures. Come here. I'm hungry. Are you going to give me some food? Yes, you are. Break him in. Let's see. That's not bad. But three meat from that little birdie. He was only a level three. I know somewhere back in the past when I was running around up and down here. I killed a level 29 Dota. I thought, hmm, maybe I should have held off on killing him. At the time, I needed hide and meat, so I suspect another one will get born in here sooner or later. I think these big old guys would be a great source of uh, meat and hides, but if I whack them, he'll just run away faster than I can run after him, so... No point in going there. Here we go. 
That's very sorry, is this? He's a level 20. Some hide meat for you too. Okay, the sun is going down. Let's get back to the house. Throw this meat on the fire. Pick it up. So we'll have uh, lots to use in the morning. Yes, sir, and I definitely like them this metal hatchet. Oh, my level up. That means trank arrows. Ooh. Because even though I only had one in grand point, a level up means more points. Sooner or later, I gotta make a ramp out here. And let's get around to the quick stove. There we go. Throw that in there, light the fire. And let's go over some of these hides. I always like to carry some with me, just in case. Like for making uh, bowls. Presumably for repairing other things on the go, but now that I'm replacing everything with metal, I'd hardly put a scratch in my hatchet, which is good. Mixing up a bunch of berries. Gotta have a balanced diet. You know. Eat some berries, eat some meat. The big disadvantage with the berries, it takes a lot more time to munch them down, which can be dangerous depending on the situation that I find myself in. Something can come up behind me like a dillo. I'm uh, busy munching on berries and kind of jumping in my bones. Perry Moore, you got plenty of berries on you. You're on neutral. Do not follow. You just sit right there. That's fine. One of these days, I'm going to run out there and see what I can do with those uh, jellyfish. Let's see. Wait. That's about seven points. 153. It's 178. That should be getting increased too, so I can carry stuff with me. Oh, can I buy, buy, buy? How am I supposed to buy any of that stuff? I haven't seen a store anywhere since I've been here. Okay, sun's getting down. There's my meat doing. Let's see, I know I keep no charcoal. Put that down on my ready bar. like a beautiful night, and I think tomorrow it's going to be back to chopping up wood, putting wood in thatch. 
so I can. Oh, I know what that's for. That's so I can dump all my stuff real quick, like, in case I'm going to go off and do something crazy. Okay, it's midnight. Let's catch us a nap.